Hello again folks. I have another little tip for any Hobby King 90mm F16 owners. These little elevator um, servo control um, boxes, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're a bit of a source of problems. Um, you may not realise it, but I'll grab my radio here. But there's a high chance of elevator induced roll on these things, and the reason is the fit in there of these things, which is like the nut, is very tight. So by default, one of these is going to be tighter than the other one, which basically means you'll pull the elevators up, let them neutralize, and one of them will be in a different position to the other, no matter, even regardless of your actual uh, trimming, and you'll get elevator induced roll, which in an unlucky case will result in a crash. But I have a solution for that. It's very easy. All you do is you take this sucker out, mount it in a pair of pliers like so, and then you run it up and down a file. So you're basically narrowing the width of this. I guess by about, I don't know, uh, a quarter to half a millimetre. Once you've done that, you put it back in and make sure you have a nice and gentle and um, low resistance on the actual uh, uh, elevator throw. Once you've done that, you're all set. Right, oh, folks, I've just spent a good, I don't know, 40 minutes working on these elevators, uh, making sure that I've uh, filed down the bolts, the nuts in the middle there to provide the least resistance for the pivoting at both sides. And there's very fast centering servos. You can see now, you can see how the servo is not having to fight to center. That's great. So the main problem with this uh, plane is um, whenever you have a single control surface, i.e. your elevators, controlled by two different servos, if there's any differences in the servo speed or resistance on the servo, on, on each servo, then when you apply that single input, the plane can roll to the left or right. Now it's not the same as having um, ailerons which are a bit dodgy. Let me turn this light off. Ailerons that are a bit dodgy are fine because you can always fly out of it, right? You get a little bit of roll, you put a little bit of roll to the left. And basically it's consistent. It's always rolling to the left, right? So you put the trim in. Problem with an elevator that, that's introducing roll is you might pitch up and find that it rolls to the left and then put an aileron correction into the right but as soon as you let go of the elevator, the roll induced by the elevators goes away and then you roll to the left because of your aileron trim. So you've got to make sure that any elevators run by two different servos are as aligned as best as you can possibly get. If you're getting any flex in your control arms, you're going to be in trouble. You just don't want that. You've got to spend a lot of time on this model, making sure there's very low resistance in those boxes on both sides. Otherwise, you're going to find that you pull out of a steep dive when you whack those elevators up and the plane is going to roll one way or the other. And depending on the speed and altitude you're at, you can find yourself in a crash situation.